All right, well, welcome to Essential Oils for Romance. I'm Heather with Untethered Life, and I'm excited to share with you all tonight a few tips that I've learned about using essential oils to up your romance factor in the bedroom with your husband or your wife. So that's not a, a topic that I often talk about, but it is much needed and we need to have safe spaces to talk about these kinds of things amongst ourselves. And while I'm not the expert by any stretch of the matter, I do have six kids, so I guess I'm the expert on that. I'm not the expert on talking about this, uh, so I hope if anything you learn that you can talk about things that you're not an expert at either and you can share information that you know or that you've learned or that you're learning to help someone else uh, along the way. So I will first give my disclosure that I'm not here to diagnose, treat, or cure any condition and um, nothing that I say is meant to um, tell you that you shouldn't do your own research. I encourage everybody to do their own research, look into these oils, look into the constituents, and you need to do what feels safe for you and what feels right for your body and that of your spouse. So um, before we get going into all of the um, spicy details of how we can use our oils, let's talk about usage and safety. So our Young Living Essential Oils are labeled for three types of usage. One is diffusing, the other one is topical, and the other is ingestion. And we're gonna talk primarily about, I think exclusively today, about um, topical and aromatic application using these essential oils. If you have Young Living oils, you'll notice that we have some white labeled oils, and those are labeled, the ones labeled for ingestion. They're called our Vitality Line. Now the Vitality line and the regular line, so if you have Peppermint Vitality and Peppermint and a regular label, they're actually the exact same oil in both bottles, just one is labeled for ingestion and one is labeled for aromatic and topical use. When we inhale, so let's talk about in, um, using them for aromatic uses. So I typically use that in my diffuser or I'll put it on my hands and breathe it in. And this is a great way to use essential oils because it gets into our bodies immediately through our lungs. So anything you breathe gets into your body within minutes when you breathe it into your lungs. So that's why we're really um, passionate in Young Living about using Young Living oils because we know they're pure and that we're not putting anything into our lungs that would be harmful or dangerous. Topically is another way you can use them. If you have not used essential oils before, I would start slow um, even diluting them and always putting them on the bottom of your feet is a great place to start starting off putting them on the bottom of your feet. You don't have to always put them there, but that's a great place to start using essential oils if you're going to start topically. Now we apply almost all of our oils directly onto our skin. We don't dilute in our family, but we've been using oils for quite some time. So, and, um, and you're welcome to test that and try that out. And they're also, you can use a carrier oil. So carrier oils are fatty oils like coconut oil, um, olive oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil, those kinds of oils. If you are ever um, using oils and you get them on your hands and you touch your eyes, it can be uncomfortable. So don't grab water to wash it out. You wanna use either oil, fatty oil like coconut oil or olive oil or milk. Milk is another great option to help dilute that oil and rinse it out of an area that feels um, sensitive to that oil. And then uh, internal use. I like to put peppermint in my water, lemon in my water, and that's a great way to get your oils into your body. Now, the only oils I would ever recommend using in any of these ways is our Young Living oils, and that be is because we have an amazing seed to seal guarantee, which means Young Living oversees and sets the standard, which is exceptionally high. It's the highest standard in the um, essential oil market. And we oversee the process from the seed until it gets into the bottle. So our partner farms have to match our standard. All of our oils go through a very strict and stringent quality control process to make sure that what's in the bottle is the highest quality possible. So you know that using these oils, especially when we're talking about using them in the bedroom, you're going to want the best oils possible. And I believe that Young Living has the best oils that you could ever find. So let's um, get started before we get on to the exciting stuff. Let's talk about some of the things that um, create challenges. 
and that is low libido. So statistics tell us that about 40, as many as 43% women and 31% of, of men have experienced some sort of sexual dysfunction in, um, in their lifetime. And low libido happens to be at the top of the list. Now there's a lot of different things that can cause low, to be, low libido in, in men or women. For women, it would be something like birth control pills, exhaustion, diet, um, also menopause, aging, stress, family problems, depression, anxiety, and trauma in your past. Now I'll talk about this a little later, actually towards the end, but we love to use the Roma Freedom Technique to help clear out those things that are emotionally related. So oftentimes when we talk about sex and romance, that can start to trigger some uncomfortable feelings. So in the end, I'll talk to you a little bit about some things that you can do to help support you in that journey. It's always helpful to have an open and honest conversation, and sometimes that's the difficult part, with your spouse about maybe some challenges that you're having. But as far as it is up to you, there are some things that you can do using essential oils to help raise your libido and help to have a healthy um, sex life with your spouse. Um, so I've heard that marjoram, which is the oil pictured here, is a great oil to help balance you out if you have a little more sex drive than your spouse. So this helps bring you down to the middle. So it wouldn't be an oil that if you're struggling with libido, you would want to use it often. Uh, so I'll just give you that little tip there. So the so when we start talking about using essential oils for the bedroom, it's important to prepare ahead of time. Now, I love to be spontaneous in life and just do um, things as they come up, but I get busy. And yes, penciling sex in on the calendar, romance in or date night in on the calendar is an important thing when you have busy lives. It doesn't make it any less romantic to schedule it in. Sometimes we may feel like, well, that just lumps it up there with the doctor's visit or some other appointment that you have, but we prioritize what we feel is important. And so sometimes the very first step is to actually pencil it in onto our calendar. Now, another recommendation is to do something that helps you feel sexy. That For women, that might be putting on a pair of, of sexy underwear or um, listening to some romantic music. It could be sending a flirty text. Now, let's just say this about sending texts. Make sure it's just flirty and keep it clean because you sometimes I have done this before, not with a flirty text, thanks goodness, but I have accidentally sent the wrong text to the wrong person. I was um, moving really quickly with my fingers and touched a message to read and then started typing a message thinking I was sending it to another person. So if you're gonna send a flirty text, just make sure it's something that you wouldn't be terribly embarrassed about someone else reading in the event that you had fat fingers. Uh, so it could be something like, hey, I'm looking forward to tonight or, um, I sure think you're handsome or something along those lines, right? Now, another thing that we can do is use our oils to help rev up that engine. Now, if you're a woman, hopefully mostly, most of my audience is women, you know that sometimes we're likened to being crock pot. So anything we can do ahead of time to start getting ourselves in the mood and get our libido ramped up is helpful. So orange is a great oil. It brings um, joy to the heart and peace and happiness to the mind. Sensation is another oil that you can get that contains coriander, ylang-ylang, bergamot, jasmine, and geranium, and all those oils together encourage feelings of love and affection when you diffuse them. Geranium, which is in that oil, in that um, combination, in that blend sensation, can help release some negative memories and take you back to peaceful, joyful mo moments. So sometimes, when we are in that planning stage, in that preparation stage, we may have some of those negative emotions come up. So you could put some sensation, orange, geranium, or all three on your palms and just breathe it in. This is our AFT pose. We breathe in those oils um, to help release those negative feelings and emotions and bring us into a place of joy and affection and love. So some, um, and this may be a no-brainer for some of you, but sometimes I'm moving and going so fast, I forget an important part of self-care or just um, primping for my husband, which is to shave. Young Living has an amazing shave oil called Mira, and it is, um, leaves your skin silky smooth. Um, I don't know about you ladies, but my husband does like it when I take the effort to do um, some self-care and self um, 
what's the word, prep prior to um, spending time together in the bedroom. We have some other popular products that you can use. We have our bath gels, like Sensation bath gels. So you notice earlier we had the Sensation oil, so we have a couple of Sensation products. We have the Sensation bath gel, and later we'll talk about the Sensation massage oil. Dragon Time bath and shower gel. Dragon Time is another one of our oil blends that's great for um, balancing out hormones. And you can also make your own special scent. So if you have a certain combination or a scent of oil that you really love, you can get our scented bath and shower, Jace shower gel base, and you can add whatever oils you love into that. And when you have that, I mean, I don't know, sometimes when I get, I will take a shower and I'll do some self care and I'll get dressed up. That goes a long way towards improving my mood and my libido. You can also just work on having, having um, smooth, healthy skin. And our Art Skin Care co Collection line is a great way to do that. Did you know that just using the toner on your face every day helps to balance out the pH levels of your face for that soft, silky glow that we all want to have? Um, and then another step that I don't, you know what, actually my husband doesn't care whether or not I use makeup, but sometimes when I put on a little makeup, it helps me feel more beautiful. Now, I'm not a huge makeup wearer. I do have a few of the Savvy Minerals line, but I love that this is 100% toxin-free. There's no talc or bismuth in our, mineral, in our mineral makeup. We just came out with an, um, some amazing uh, lipstick colors. So maybe you're, um, you like to do the full-on face makeup. This is great makeup. It's completely toxin-free. It goes on beautifully. Or maybe you're like me, you just like to have a little bit where you can just grab a little bit of the eyeshadow, maybe a little bit of the lipstick or lip gloss, put on some eye, um, some mascara, and you're good to go. So really, I'm just encouraging to do whatever you need to do to help you feel good about yourself. Because when we feel good about ourselves, we'll have a lot more fun in the bedroom with our spouses. All right, so it's all about the hormones ultimately, not um, how we feel and how we experience sex with our husbands or our spouses. Progestins Plus is a great oil for balancing hormones. Um, it, progesterone is a hormone in the body that stimulates and regulates various functions that we have. It's produced in the ovaries and the placenta when you get pregnant and the adrenal glands. So if you have adrenal fatigue or any kind of adrenal um, distress, you're going to need some support for your progesterone. And honestly, women, I don't know of any of us that can't use some support for our adrenal glands. So Progestins Plus is a great oil. It was actually de um, designed by Dr. Um, oh, his name just escaped me. Let me see if it's in my notes. Um, no, it's not in my notes. Burris. Bur anyway, sorry. I should have had that written down but it was designed um, by a doctor who specializes in women's health. And you can um, look up Progestins Plus and the doctor who designed it, and you can find out how he recommends it be used. And um, you can apply one drip drop to your wrist every night. And then after you build up for a couple week or two, you can add a, a drop in the morning, a drop at night. And there's some recommendations about whether some should you more, some should you yes, lose, use less, but it does smell lovely and does make a nice perfume. So when you put it on and know that you're helping your body and you're also um, putting it on kind of like a perfume. Now, if you're pregnant, you don't need this oil unless your doctor recommends that you need any kind of progesterone support, but this is not probably an oil that you would need. All right, another um, important thing about our sex hormones is there's a hormone called estradiol. estradiol. It's a predominant estrogen, estrogen that's throughout a woman's body in her reproductive years, and it is produced by the granulosa cells in the ovaries. It's required for reproductive and sexual function. So if you want to know more about that, you can just research estradiol. But the most important takeaway is that a healthy reproductive system makes a girl happy. And Lady Sclerol is an oil blend created specifically for women to enhance the feminine nature and provide a relaxing um, experience when you diffuse it. Sclerescence is another oil that supports your overall wellness with the properties of pure essential oils, including clary sage and fennel. Um, you can use these two oils in your daily regimen. However, if you are pregnant, you might want to research clary sage, and that's usually on the list of oils to avoid during pregnancy. 
All right, another oil that I love is Endoflex. If you're tired and grumpy, it may be that you just need to boost your immune system. I'm not your immune system, your um, endocrine system using Endoflex. I like to use this oil over my thyroid and on my heels. It has a nice spearmint um, scent. So I also, I, and whenever I put it on, I have people every time when I walk into a room tell me how amazing I smell. So I know that it, may, it operates as a great perfume as well. Now, Dragon Time is another one of our blends that you can use. I have heard recently that it's not just great for women. It can be used for men as well. It's a, a blend of fennel, clary sage, marjoram, lavender, blue yarrow, and yasmin. And it helps promote feelings of stability and calm during cycles of moodiness. So if you're still cycling, this is a great oil. Dragon Time is a great oil to add to your um, regime during your cycle. All right, let's see here. I was, oops, sorry, scrolling. Oops, there we go, Indoflex. I'm gonna tell you a little, what is an Indoflex? It's got spearmint and geranium, which are two of, of, geranium is one of the oils that we talked about in the beginning that will help you get to a place of relaxed and peaceful joy when you are preparing for romance in the bedroom. Now, some other oils that get you in the mood are Ylang-Ylang. This is such an important single oil and it's in joy and sensation blends and it helps balance your female and male energies. It both relaxes, so it has that combination of relaxing you and also arousing, bringing that arousal, it's known as an aphrodisiac oil. Clary Sage um, can help you get your lady parts ready and really put you in the mood. If you forget to use it or don't have it, I'm gonna to give you a recipe later for a personal tingle massage oil that you can put together. You also, again, I said, I said this before, but make sure that you um, research for yourself the uses of clary sage with pregnancy. Again, it's on one of the list of oils not to use when you're pregnant, unless you're at the very end of your pregnancy. Uh, sensation, talked about that a little bit in the beginning too. This is a beautiful blend with uplifting, refreshing, and arousing aromas. It has elangling in it. And helps break in those feelings of self-confidence, joy, and peace. And jasmine is a very uplifting oil as well that's in that blend. Um, Mary Young actually is credited with for creating this oil. Most of the oils we know are, are, were designed and the, were the brainchild of Gary Young, but I love to know that uh, Mary Young was the brainchild behind this one. And it really does create a beautiful romantic atmosphere. And you can find the sensation oil in uh, we have it, just the sensation oil, also the massage oil, or in the bath and body gel. All right, another oil that you can use is Joy. I love to use Joy oil. It's a blend of bergamot, ylang-ylang, geranium, lemon, tangerine, coriander, jasmine, Roman chamomile, palmarosa, and our beloved rose oil. Now, I do not yet have a bottle of the single rose oil, uh, it's what it is. I think the most, um, the the largest investment of an oil that you could make. It has um, the highest frequency of over 300, and which means if you are feeling low or if your body frequency is low, using an oil that has a higher frequency will help bring your body up to a healthy level of operating. And so rose oil is one of those. Now, I love to take a drop of rose and apply it over my heart. I can actually feel a difference in my body when I do that. It, it really does elicit joyful feelings. And when we're feeling joyful, we can really relax and have fun. And that is a super important part of being romantic with our spouses. Um, both our emotions and our spirits and our physical bodies feel better when we're laughing and enjoying life. So I really recommend Joy. You can diffuse it. You can put it in between your breasts. You can put it in between your inner thighs. And if you dilute it, I, I'll tell a funny story here. My friends said I could share this. Another friend of mine suggested that you could put a small drop on the, um, on the clitoris. And so I had told her about that. Well, what my 
friend didn't mention was it might be a good idea to dilute it. Well, my friend didn't, my friend who was telling me the story didn't dilute it. And she said, sex went from hot and steamy to hot and uh, screaming, I guess. So until she was found a carrier oil to dilute that, it was kind of a funny story. But she's all well and good, no harm caused, just a funny story. Um, now, if you use Joy, it does have citrus oils in it. And with citrus oils, they can make your skin photosensitive which means when you get in the sun, it can cause you to burn um, easier. So if you're gonna be out in the sun, make sure that you have applied joy in a place where the sun don't shine uh, or cover up or put sunscreen on. All right, so let's talk about some oils that'll help our men. Idaho blue spruce. Um, you can research, do your own research on what are the benefits of Idaho blue spruce. There was a research done uh, linking Idaho blue spruce and testosterone. So I'll just give you that little piece of information. You can go research what was the study and what were the results. Now, this oil isn't a spruce for nothing. It totally spruces things up, if you understand my meaning. It helps your oil, uh, late Lucy Libido, which if you haven't joined her Facebook page or read her book, it's a great resource for using the oils in the bedroom. And she goes um, has a lot more in depth information that is really helpful but she says this oil helps your man stand at attention there's another oil that does that too we're going to talk about too uh, this oil really makes for a win-win because it has that great woodsy scent that's very grounding and then also a lot of men like that woodsy smell but not only that but it's also good for libido and for hormone balance for men uh, women can use it too totally can use it too you can use it with coconut oil as a lubricant, or you can add it to your tingle massage oil for a little extra cooling for you. It's great to incorporate during pre-game time with a little play massage. Um, and if he isn't a fan of the floral, floral scents like we have in Joy or Sensation, then this is perfect in the diffuser. I heard, maybe I read this in Lisa Libido, that diffusing this 20 minutes prior to um, bedroom time helps really set the mood both in the frequency of the room and then as you breathe that in it helps your body all right um golden rod this is a great one to buy when it comes in stock because it goes out of stock quickly around valentine's day it may be out of stock now i don't know i actually have some golden rod that this, that just started growing in my flower front flower bed so it makes me smile every time i see it because i think of this beautiful yellow bottle um so golden rod it, it does what it says. I mean, it's a perfect name. The name says it all. If you're looking for a golden rod, then look no further than this oil. It really does help um, men maintain erection for longer. And you can use it on the shaft of the penis or on the inside of the thigh and um, use it in the love potion. So it's kind of a funny oil, but I'm sure it has other uses, but I actually only know this use because that's the one that was explained to me the first time I heard of it. Nutmeg is another great oil. This is good not only for our men, but it's also good for our adrenals. You can take this oil in the vitality form and put it on, on a drop under your tongue. You can also rub it over your adrenals. Now in the bedroom, it really gets a circulation going and the blood pumping. So it's another one of those oils that's great for stimulation and for blood flow. And um, pair um, this one with a carrier oil as it can be a little bit spicy so definitely um, with all of these oils if you're not an oiler please dilute them start slow and you can always add a drop or two more so you can increase the sensation of what the oils are providing we have a whole line of products that are designed specifically for men i have heard shootran which is a we have the shootran which is kind of like our sensation oil for women we have the shootran oil for men um, I do, I have heard that often men, women also benefit from using shoe trans. So you just have to listen to your body and know what your body needs. You can, uh, if you know someone that has a Zyto or a Itovi scan, you can, you can ask for a scan and you can see if any of these oils, which ones pop up for you. So don't be surprised if you're a woman and what's been considered a male oil pops up for you because you're, we, are, we all have the same hormones, just at different levels. So women sometimes need boosts in testosterone and some of the, the men oils can help us with that. Shutran contains Idaho blue spruce, Akatea, Hinoki, Ylang-Ylang, coriander, Devana, cedarwood, lemon, and lavender. 
This, it was once released as a cologne, but it's really so much more than that. We have some of the products like the gel and the aftershave. Um, it, have you ever heard of pheromones? Pheromones, sorry, I don't say that very well, but the pheromones are the behavior altering agents. Those are the things that um, in the animal kingdom, the, when a dog or an animal is in heat, they exude those pheromones and they attract the opposite sex, they attract the male sex to them. Um, they're unlike any other hormones. They're ectohormones and they act outside of the body of the individual. So it's like um, versus an, um, a hormone that's working inside of our bodies like our thyroid hormone or adrenal hormones, those things, this is actually uh, pushing outside of the body. It's, um, it's calling attention. So most hormones just impact the individual excreting them, but ectohormones impact the behavior of another in individual and can induce activities such as sexual arousal. So the chemical constituents in shoe train were made for a man to wear to attract a woman. So we might want to be careful about our, our husbands wearing those around other women, but um, we do want them to be healthy and they do have lots of oils in them that help um, maintain that emotional and hormonal balance. It is, uh, can be used like a cologne to boost confidence. Can put on, a man can put on his forearms, on his inner thighs, uh, just wherever it feels comfortable. Now there's some oils that really don't have a gender connection to them. There's actually quite a few oils, but in the bedroom, primarily those would be like Valor and Hong Kwai. Now Valor is what we call our liquid courage. And it's the one that won't get you into trouble. So Valor is a blend of black spruce, blue tansy, frankincense, camphor, and geranium. You can diffuse it, you can apply it to your wrists and ears, and it will bring about confidence like no other. In fact, prior to doing this class, I was putting on all the Valor because like I said in, in the beginning, this is not my uh, most common topic I talk about. So anytime we do something uncomfortable or that we've not done before, we might need a little bit of Valor. Now sometimes going into the bedroom, you may be feeling nervous or uptight from your day. Valor is a great oil to apply and use as is Hong Kwai. Hong Kwai helps promote spiritual awareness and inspires clarity, intuition, and action. You can diffuse it or use it in a relaxing bath. The Hong Kwai trees are an ancient cypress trees that grow in the high mountains of Taiwan. They can grow to enormous sizes and live up to two millennia. Hong Kwai wood has been used in the building of temples, royal palaces, and baths because of its beautiful look Wonderful smell, wonderful smell, and its natural properties that allow the wood to last for hundreds of years. So I, I am just always so fascinated about how do these become oils, and how Gary Young just knew that this would be something that would be beneficial to us and to the world around us by using Hong Kwai. Now, here's a few. I'm going to give some more diffuser re recipes. I don't have these um, in a format to share here on the screen right now, but if you'd like, you can email me at heather at untether.life and I will send you these recipes. So this is a diffuser recipe called Oh Baby I'm Ready and it's four drops of sensation, two drops of Hong Kwai, and two drops of lavender. And then this one's called Confident Breeze just to build that confidence in the bedroom. And that's five drops of, of Valor and three drops of Hong Kwai. All right, so let's see here some so let me talk to you about mister. <clears throat> um, mister is good for gals also, but it's called mister um, because it's primarily used to help balance male energies. Now we have male and female energies in our bodies. And um, this is a blend of sage, fennel, lavender, myrtle, peppermint, and yarrow. If your guy needs a little boost in the libido department, then this one <clears throat> is a must have for him. He can apply this oil to his ankles and to the front and back of his pelvic, pelvis or pubic bone. As a side note, if ladies, if you ever get that instant feeling of, uh, of a need to rip off your shirt because it feels like a heat wave just hit you, then this oil is also helpful for that. Now here's a few more diffuser blends that you can try. Two drops of geranium, this one's called Ladies' Choice. Two drops of geranium, two drops of ylang-ylang, and four drops of white angelica. White angelica is one of my favorite blends. It, currently, it's available only as an essential rewards order, I think. 
Uh, here's another oil um, diffuser blend to set the move. Three drops of orange and three drops of geranium or sensation, or all three. And then after your love fest, here's one called Sleep So Well. And it's three drops of cedar wood and three drops of lavender. So just help you drift off to sleep. Now I'm gonna give you some roll-on recipes. Uh, you can get some inexpensive roll-on bottles from um, Amazon. You can also, and this is what I love to do, I get roll-on um, filaments from Young Living. They have the stainless steel ones, they're really high quality. And I have a ton of empty Young Living bottles and I'll just make my mixes in those and pop one of those uh, roll-on filaments onto my existing Young Living bottle and away we go. So you don't actually have to buy any expensive thing. Roller bottles can, can go anywhere from a dollar on up. Typically you can find some less expensive ones maybe. But the best ones are the ones with the steel, steel balls in them. So this roll-on recipe is called the Energizer Bunny. It has eight drops of grapefruit, four drops of lemon, four drops of lavender, and two drops of basil. And then you would take that, put it in a 10 milliliter bottle, and then fill it with carrier oil after you put those oils in it. Um, next, you have sensational skin for him and her. So this is an oil, just um, an oil blend that just really helps soothe any skin irritations you might have, or and it just is it creates a um, great scent and healthy, healthy looking skin. So it's 25 drops lavender, 25 drops frankincense, and 50 drops carrier oil. So basically, you can break that down to um, the ratios are one part lavender, one part frankincense to two parts carrier oil. Now a personal massage oil, AKA a lubrication oil. This is the tingle massage oil that um, I've heard so many good things about. You use one ounce of the carrier oil of your choice. Now you can put these in a roller bottle or you can put these in um, some other kind of empty bottle where you can either have a pump on it or an easy way to open the lid. Um, <clears throat> Screw off lids are kind of hard to manage in the bedroom, so something quick and easy. The pump bottles are the great ones. So one ounce of carrier oil, then five drops of peppermint, five drops of black pepper, and five drops of sensation. You can also replace sensation oil and the carrier oil and just use the sensation massage oil and to the sensation massage oil, add the peppermint and the black pepper. This is the tingle massage oil. Now this oil is called fresh and clean. This is a lubrication oil that keeps you fresh and clean for hours, if not days after you have some fun in the bedroom with your spouse after you have some sex. So the first uh, component of this one is ylang, -ylang and you use to two to 10 drops of ylang, -ylang. So it's basically um, on, based on how you, how potent you want this lubrication oil to be. Two drops of geranium, one to two drops of orange, five drops of lavender, three drops of peppermint, three drops of clove, three drops of cypress, two drops of tea tree, and then four ounces of fractionated coconut oil or grapeseed oil or another carrier oil of your choice. Now, if you're a need a latex friendly lubrication oil, then you're going to use um, aloe vera in place of the oil. Now, Trader Joe's has a great liquid aloe vera, so I recommend that one. So two teaspoons of Trader Joe's aloe vera, two teaspoons of water, a half a teaspoon of glycerin, a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil, and then, if you, and then you just use that and enjoy. Now, if you want to add a scent to it, you can. Just don't add any citrus oils to that. Now, here's a great recipe for an edible body butter. All of our essential oils are edible, especially the ones, the ones that are labeled Vitality. But again, remember the Vitality label, um, if it has another oil just by the same name in the other bottle, they're the same exact oil. So you're going to use three tablespoons of solid coconut oil, a half a teaspoon of beeswax. And you're gonna take those two and you're gonna melt those over a double broiler. So you can just get a, a heat proof bowl and set it 
over a pan of hot water or boiling water and you can stir that around until they melt together. Then after that, you want it to cool for about 10 minutes. And after it cools, you add a teaspoon of grapeseed oil, a half a teaspoon of coconut cream, a half a teaspoon of agave nectar, 20 drops of grapefruit vitality, and 10 drops of lime vitality. Now you can choose other citrus oils or other oils for your taste and preference. Now again, remember the rule of thumb with citrus oils, if you're gonna be out in the sun, um, th make sure you put these on where the sun don't shine or you uh, cover your body where you're going to, where you're gonna be um, rubbing that body butter on. So next, let's see, that was, next I'm gonna talk about some thigh high love potions. So these are the potions are you gonna put on the upper, mid to upper inner thighs. 20 drops of ylang-ylang, 20 drops of cypress, five drops of lavender, and five drops of clove, and that's optional, it's for the spicy um, component that that adds, and then a tablespoon of carrier oil. And you could put this again in a, in a roller bottle. So it could be another great roller bottle recipe. Can you just roll it on into the inner thigh? Or you could put it in an empty um, Young Living bottle and, and drip it out. Sometimes those oils with, that we put with carrier oils make it a little slower to come out of the um, regular essential oil bottles. So putting this in a ro roller ball might be a great solution for you. So that one's called sweet and spicy for her. This oil next blend is called Macho Man. Great to use for your men. 20 drops of Hong Kwai, 10 drops of golden rod, 10 drops of Idaho blue spruce, five drops of black pepper, and 25 drops of a carrier oil. Now if that blend is too spicy, just add more carrier oil to it and I'll tone down the spice until it's comfortable. Now, what I'd like to talk to you about now, I've given you a lot of recipes, I've given you some tips on how to use the oils, but what do you do with those difficult emotions that come up? I always turn to prayer and the Roma Freedom Technique. The Roma Freedom Technique really does help to clear out those difficult and challenging emotions that arise that we get triggered um, when different things happen in, and intimacy, romance, and sex is one of the biggest triggers that can bring up those uncomfortable emotions, those challenges, those memories of past events. So I love to recommend the Roma Freedom Technique. Now my good friend Terry's on this call with me. She's an amazing Roma Freedom Technique practitioner. I'm a, a Roma Freedom Technique practitioner. You can go to romafreedom.com and find a practitioner that um, you feel connects with you but it is a great tool for helping to release those emotions. Now these three oils that are pictured here, actually thieves is not one of our regular oils, but you can use these. But if you take a drop of frankincense, a drop of stress away and a drop of lavender, maybe you don't have time for a full on aroma freedom session, but you're like, oh, you know, all day long you've been preparing and you're so excited, but then something pops up in your mind to throw you off track. Well, you can take a drop of lavender, a drop of stress away, and drop a frankincense in the palm of your hand and just breathe that in and focus your breath into that feeling that's come up for you and just invite the Lord's presence to come and help you release that emotion. If there's forgiveness needed, you can um, offer, you can release forgiveness, you can release that wound, you can release that challenge that's come up so that you can truly be in that place that you long to be to have the intimate time with your spouse. After you breathe that in and you release that difficult feeling or emotion, or it breaks apart some, you can get some joy oil, apply that over your heart, get a drop of valor, put it on your wrist, hold your wrists up and breathe that in. And use some of those diffuser blends that we talked about earlier to really help establish that mood for you. All right, so if you don't have Young Living Oils and you were not invited by somebody, if you're invited by somebody to watch this class, then please reach out to them, ask them for their sponsor number, their enroller number so that they can help you get started. I love to recommend the Premium Starter Kit. The Premium Starter Kit has 11 oils um, and a diffuser and some samples. But if you're like, oh, I want, but I want all the oils that you talked about tonight. Well, then you could get the premium starter kit and the list of those oils, or you could get the basic starter kit. 
and add some oils onto it. The oils that we talked about tonight that are not in the starter kit are since the Sensation Massage Oil, Orange, Idaho Blue Spruce. Uh, then we talked about the Shutran Shave Cream, uh, Valor, Cypress, Black Pepper, and Geranium. We also talked about Ylang Ylang, but if you get the, and, and we talked about Sensation as well, so if you get um, the premium starter kit and you add on some of these oils, you'll be set for some of these suggestions I made. I also talked about goldenrod, hung kwai, some of those other oils, throw those in there. I really recommend if you're gonna get started in Young Living to get your premium starter kit and then choose a couple of these oils and do that with the Essential Rewards Program. That way you start earning back points, um, earning credit so you can apply them towards future purchases of oils. That's how I get I am on the Essential Rewards Program. I find it a great way for me, first of all, to commit to a healthy lifestyle. It's a way for me to get my household products, my supplements, and my essential oils that I know are completely toxin-free and are going to be a great benefit to my family. And then with each purchase, I get a certain percentage of those points back. First, you start off with 10% points back, then it moves up to 15, and then 20%, and then 25%. And once you're at 25%, you're getting a 24% discount off of the wholesale price, off the retail price, excuse me, plus 25% back in points. So it's almost like you're getting 50% off the retail price. And then you can use those points to buy new product. And I love to do that. It's my favorite time. I feel like I'm, well, really, Young Living is so generous. Plus, in the Essential Wars program, I'm always getting free product because I reach those promotional levels. And this, um, let me see, I think I have a slide here. Yes. This month's promos, our August promos, are Spearmint. Spearmint is a great oil for hormone balance as well. So you can look at that one. Ravensara, Wintergreen, Aroma Seas, and Acceptance. Acceptance is an amazing emotional oil. We didn't talk about it tonight, but women, we have a lot of body issues, and Acceptance Oil is a great oil to use to get yourself to a place of love and acceptance of yourself. All right, so if you have not, ordered your kit, you don't have a kit, you can go to youngliving.com and you can use my um, sponsor, my number, my Young Living number is sponsor and roller. It's 1570922. And if a friend invited you, please reach out to them, ask them for their member and roller number, because I want you to be supported in your journey with the person who's been sharing about oils with you. So thank you so much for attending. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Email me. Again, my email is heather at untether.life. And if you want these recipes, I'd be happy to send them to you. So reach out to me and I'll give you um, these amazing recipes to try next time you're going to be romantic in the bedroom. Maybe just pick one because I gave you a lot of recipes. Too much of a good thing might be too much. Thank you all for joining me on my first oils class for romance. I have a very dear friend who is an expert in this area, and I'm going to reach out to her and see if she'll join me sometime because she has a lot of great tips for helping um, people work through intimacy issues and how to have a healthy sex life with your spouse. So look out for that. Watch for that. I'm going to reach out to her, and we're going to set that up soon, I hope. So thanks for joining me, and you guys have a great evening. Yeah.